Hello and welcome to tip number 10 in this 30 Photoshop tips course. Today I'm going to show you how to save your selection, how to load in a selection. Very, very handy indeed. Not many people know about this and it can speed up your workflow massively. Essentially it works if you've made a selection, let's say a complex hair selection and then you continue editing, you deselect. Then later down the line when you're editing you want to actually load that hair selection back in. You can simply do that very very efficient and a good way to work good habit to be in so I'm going to jump straight into Photoshop I'm just going to create a new document I'm just going to create a blank document there and what I'm going to do I'm just going to create a selection I'm just going to add to selection I'm just going to create lots of random squares here so you can see we have our selection now what is going to happen we can come up to select and you will see that we have save selection here so I'm going to click on save selection and you can see that we can simply name this and we can save so if I hit OK I'm just going to hit command or control and D to deselect then I'm going to come back up to select and now we have load selection available you can see we've got shape here I'm just going to click OK and there you go just going to load our selection back in. Now this is a very simple example obviously it's not a very complex selection but when your selection is complex this is a lifesaver. So I'm just going to deselect again command control and D and what I'm actually going to do this time is I'm going to just create other random shapes. Just going to add to selection some circles Let's put them down there and then I'm going to come back up to select and I'm going to look at loading the selection again but this time I just want to make note of the operation down here so we've got new selection so new selection is just going to replace this current selection with the save selection of the shape we've got add to selection which is going to add the shape to this selection so for example if we click add and click OK you can see there it's added these bits in that we're missing if I come back up to select and load selection we can also subtract from selection so it's going to subtract the shape selection from this selection in the background so I'm going to click OK and there you go you can see subtract and so forth and so forth you can also do I'm just going to press command control Z to undo you can also come up to select load selection and you've got um, intersect as well um, so I'm just going to click OK so there it's kind of back to normal with the intersection there um, but it can work very well a very good habit to get in and it can save you a lot of time so thank you very much for joining me in this video if you haven't already you can see the full course using the link in the description below